Spies, Tom Cruise, cats, dogs, and the events industry. What do they have in common? Stick around to find out. I'm Damani. Welcome to Geek Geek. Today's episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Lynda.com. Lynda has thousands and thousands of training videos on every topic under the sun. Head over to Lynda.com forward slash Geek Beat for a free week of all the video training you can stand. Okay, first things first. Let's address the giant, albeit theoretical, elephant in the room. I'm sitting here on Geek Beat. They call me the event nerd. Instant tension, perhaps? Well, maybe. We all know about the age-old battle between the nerds and the geeks. It's like the Capulets and the Montagues, the Cowboys and the Giants, the uh, iPhone users and the Androiders. For the record, I'm an Android guy. There have been songs written about it and memes abound all across the internet. Now there's a lot to be said for the whole nerd-geek battle that's raged for millennia. So I consider this kind of like the bridge between two worlds. A nerd on a show built by and for geeks. Maybe cats and dogs do have a chance. Okay. On to the tech. I'm a diehard events guy and absolutely love them. Always have and always will. For the longest time though, the events industry has been big on cool, but short on innovation. We focused on creating epic shows and crazy experiences, but don't often embrace new or emerging tech. In the past few years though, that's all begun to change. All sorts of new and innovative tools have shown up that make events not just exciting, but engaging. And one of the biggest trends and biggest headaches has been tracking attendees both during the event and throughout the event space. Now there are a bunch of startups making that possible. It's pretty common and relatively easy to track how people are connecting and engaging online. You can track clicks and shares and use tools like Google Analytics to see where people found you and how long they stayed online with you. Interestingly enough though, nothing like that existed in the physical space. I mean, short of placing people at doors to conferences, parties and trade shows, you had no idea who went where and what they did until now. Scanalytics is a company out of Milwaukee that aims to help events understand the soul of their brand. How's it work? Well, there are these mats and they're stupid thin. You put them all around the room and they're able to track more than just how many people were there. Their soul sensors, like for the sole of your shoe, get it? Sweet. Can track how long people were there, what direction they entered and left, and how long they were willing to wait before moving on. Add to that the fact that they can be set to trigger certain actions like playing a video of your favorite online host, based on how long people do or don't stick around, and you've got some really powerful tools to connect with people offline as well as you do online. Previously relegated to cattle ranches and spy movies, RFID came around in the 70s, so it's really nothing new. RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification, and the chips are super small devices that can be used to carry all sorts of info about, well, anything. In fact, many big retailers like Walmart and American Apparel are already using them for inventory and theft control like those annoying tags that mess up your outfit in the store mirror. Yeah, like, like those. Now you might already know all that, but you may not know about the amazing applications for them in special events. Companies like Access Event Solutions are taking the traditional conference badge and music festival wristband and embedding them with RFID chips. This makes it possible to do everything from check into the event without a ticket, control who has access to backstage areas and who doesn't, sorry Geo, and even allows people to pay for meals and other swag without ever reaching for their wallet. Add to that the ability to connect to people's social profiles and liking a band on Facebook is as easy as tapping that pass. More importantly for the people planning the events is the fact that all of this is tracked in real time and gives up to the minute insights into people's behavior. Remember those people hunting Tom Cruise in Minority Report? Yeah, this is kind of like the friendlier little sister to that. BLE or low energy Bluetooth. Okay, well, technically it's Bluetooth low energy, but that's a really stupid name. It doesn't make any sense because it's backwards. So I'm just gonna call it what I want. Anyway, BLE beacons are getting a lot of press right now because of Apple's iBeacon, which they launched in mid 2013. Initially, it was designed to be used by retailers to simplify payments and provide on-site offers based on how close you are to the store. But beacons have really evolved in just a year and are being used by events to do even more. Companies like Olay, or On Location Engagements, have made it possible for event planners to use Beacon technology to share content with people about the event that's relevant to them at the moment that they want it. Now you can walk into the front door of a concert and receive a personalized video message from the lead singer, or walk by a trade show booth at just the right time and have a prize given to you simply for being there. Want, no, need to have that white paper the moderator of the panel talked about? Well, as soon as you walk out the door, it's already on your device. 
BLE is making its way into more and more of the mainstream, and events are sitting up and taking notice. Relative newcomer to the scene, Loot, is also playing in the Beacon space, but they're switching it up a bit by making beacons into wearable devices for event attendees. At any given moment, an event organizer can take a look at the Looped app and see traffic patterns in their event, get an idea on what people are doing, and make changes to that event based on what they see. I'm not really sure how people are going to take to the idea of wearing a small tag around their neck, but I think the concept is interesting and bears some attention. Overall, tracking is a powerful tool in any nerdy or geeky event professional's toolbox because it opens your eyes to what's really happening at your event and makes it that much easier to shape the event you want and your attendees deserve. I'm really interested to see how this all shapes up in the next few months and years and excited to see how the events industry continues to embrace the new tech we all know and love. I'm Damani Daniel, talking nerdy, and thanks for watching Geek Beat. You can pick up a zombie apocalypse survival kit in a sardine can for nine With one of bucks. these, the AOC 17-inch USB monitor. Okay, I have and been- philosophy is like the most unscientific creation of mankind ever.